Hey, what's up, guys? Hope everyone's having a good week and happy holidays back home. And sorry, this is just on my camera at my parents' house, just making a quick video and hoping everyone's having a nice Christmas. Treat for everyone this week is that I interviewed my mom for 13, 12, 13 minutes. My mom is actually a computer science major as well. She still does programming, still does coding. She's been doing it for like 30 plus years. And I just forced her to answer some questions and hopefully you enjoy it. All right, see you in 2017 and happy new year. Okay, what was your first course in programming? It was uh, assembly language. What, what assembly? Do you remember? I don't remember, sorry. That what? was uh, 35, 36 years ago. It's uh, way too long to remember. Where'd you go to detail. school? I went to school in Shanghai, China. For programming? For computer science major. Okay, what was, what was your first computer science class? Do you remember? I don't remember. It's a something basic stuff. It's math, um, discrete math, data structure, basic OS, then goes to the assembly language, high language, like Fortran was my first high level language. Fortran was your first high level language? Yeah, on that time, you don't have keyboard. We have a tape. We punch the hole. So how did you Probably punch holes? Use a tool. It's like a it's a little tool. You can punch the holes. Uh right. there we we had a computer. Somehow it generates a, a big tape. It's a very thin skin tape. So you just have to read it. If you debug it, you have to cut off the tape and put the print statement then feed the tape to the machine, then run. It was very, very early stage so you of have the a computer. You have a long piece of tape? Yeah, the paper, it's like a movie tape. It's so you roll it over, then you... What, did you... what did you use to punch all the holes in it? It's like a... It's like a, some tools. It has a hole. The tools, it can punch three, four, five, whatever the machine reads it. But how do you know that punching three holes means adding something? It's a ASCII code or something. That's older, very, you know, basic, lower level computer, uh, come, you know, lower level things. So you started programming by punching holes on tape? Yeah. How many people can use the computer at the same time? Just one, right? Yeah, just one. That's a big machine. You have to schedule time. So when you have your time, you probably have 30 minutes. You get everything ready. So when your time, just go there, just feed your tape in, run it. Then it prints out some things. Then you bring the result back to How many uh, times could work. you run? Yeah. How many times can you run one program in 30 minutes? You can run a few, depends on what's your debug. Is the program successful, you're done. If you have a problem, you probably have to make a tape by adding some print statement. That's the only way to debug. You just there's add no printing to the tapes? Yeah, there's no debug that time. So when then afterwards, oh, you can do a debug. You can stop, you can bring. Are you, break it can print out the variables it was like a revolution to us it's a much efficiency okay so what is your first programming language on a real computer real computer pro it's after work with a keyboard guess. with the keyboard it's, it was c languages it's c? i came to the u.s so i learned the c in my graduate school here in boston the c then, hard C is not very hard. Uh, it's a little bit different than program language. It was Fortune. It was uh, Fortune was mainly used for the math. C is more widely used. Mm -hmm. So uh, mainly C has that you know data structure involved. I don't think Fortune has it. If I remember correctly, then C has a malloc. The pretty hard at that time you have to remember to allocate memories and the freedom up after you use it. Yes. 
that's uh, that's pretty much uh, the C I learned uh, here. Um, that's that's that. Afterwards, you know, after work. So after work, then pick it up. Job C plus plus. So you didn't use C at the job in your first job, right? I used the C in the first job, but I never learned. Uh, C++ in school. So learn C++ as during the work. Although we learn uh, software engineering method by then, you know, it has a concept of object oriented uh, programming method, the data encapsulation, data hiding, uh, but uh, you learn C++ virtual function is mainly at work. You learn all work. that at work after yeah. school classes or yeah. something. Yeah, and also we invited some people come to come uh, to the companies to have like a weekly trainings. Um, you learn the C++. Okay, so you C in school, C++ at work. Yeah, pretty much. How long did you use C++ for? Uh, Good amount, four or five years before switch to Java. C plus plus to Java. And then yeah, have... then C first, then C plus plus, then switch to Java. Okay, what version of Java did you start with? Like oh, two? Yeah. Java said, three. Yeah, Java two, I think. So Java is pretty new at this time. Yeah, right? yeah, it's like wow, so easy. You don't have to worry about <laughs> memories. Uh, Garbage collection. Yeah, it has, but still running some, you know, memory issues. It maybe its own somehow, you know, garbage collection is not correct. Uh, we didn't properly uh, define the destructors, uh, dereference them. They still have reference, so those memories is not being freed. I don't know. The later on, it's like uh, it's more more Java fancy things. Yeah. So what? How did you debug stuff when it's a problem with Java, not a problem with your code? Like, what if the garbage collection is not really even working and you didn't do anything wrong? Does that happen? Did that happen? Yeah, that happens. Something you oh then. Uh, it's, I don't know how to debug it. it just uh, we just uh, review our code and make sure. We did everything, then you can reference to, oh, you can go to, you know, some website yeah. to see, oh, that Java version, people already submitted a, a, a problem. Yeah, problems and the similar issues people are already <sighs> facing. So there's some working around or you update your Java versions. Okay, so what, how many years did you do Java? A lot. How, like, you started Java 2. What did I, you go I, up to? I care uh, up to five, I think. Java five? Yeah. I think it's at nine now. Right. And now afterwards, I switched to a uh, tester related automation work. So I don't really using Java more of using a, a script related language. What, just forward. bash scripting? Python? What um, scripting? Script Pearl? is a T shell, actually. T shell? Yeah. Mm. And, you know, it's, it, yeah. Start with the t shirt it's very basic, you know, Unix uh, languages, uh, uh, Bajos, t shirts is the most, then move to Python a little bit. Uh, Perl, uh, use good amount of Perl. Then, you know, Python is just for, for hacker, for curiosity. Nice. For, uh, I learned it. it. These days, you just Google it. You know what you want to do, just don't. Just want to find out the syntax, and also you try to find out what's new, what's the uh, what it provides you in the the language itself. So uh, you don't have to really remember all the syntax. These so days. programming is easy now, right? Yeah, yeah, yes, yes or no. But uh, right now with cloud computer, it's a totally different ways. You know, programming so you. You're facing the different prob problems when it was old times. Every single process, you don't have to worry about a process to process uh, relationships. And also, you debug it. There's a log files on the one machine. You don't have to go, go 
with all the machines to collect your log data. It, it's a different way now. It's a totally different way to yes. to deal with software engineering to facing the problem we need to solving basically. How how much do you still code every day these days? Uh not because I'm changing from develop to uh to testing a lot of time I'm thinking about how to break the software. What is the conditions uh software might be break? So a lot of time I think in that scenarios instead of coding. So once uh, the testing is more mature, I'm just thinking how easy my life so can some re repetitive method or testing, I can uh, automate it. So it's a save my time and also it's good for regression of for patch release. Then we can just run the script. So we'll, we'll understand that patch is a stable, didn't break anything else. So uh, in that sense, I don't really uh, uh, full time on the scripting, more of the overall understand the systems okay. and how to testing. Very good, very good. What, 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 would, what any advice you'd like to share for people that are uh, learning how to program or code? Yeah, you have to understand very basic concept to start with something when you just learn, you think, oh, that's easy. I can get it. But later on, everything is related until you uh, understand solid uh, basics, then you can really keep uh, moving, um, you know, solid foundations to know details to use all the you know, basic stuff of the programming language itself. And also, I think as a software engineer, the attitude is very important. Not only you have a good foundation of skills, but also the way as a software, software have to be very accurate, say the attitude as a program, as a testing, you have to be really uh think about it thinking through it then you can generate a good quality of the work that is also very important the work between the members define the good interface between each others between the the functional groups is very uh important as well so until the interface is defined it really benefits all the groups Okay, very good. So I'm, you know, it's a very line in the software engineering, but still enjoy the new technology. I'm pretty sure the young generations will learn much more. They think much more broader. They have much more trainings than 35 years ago. I had trainings, but you know, uh, I as a uh, uh, engineer, so you le never learn. Uh, you never stop. You always learn some things. As far as your attitude is good, you all you always can uh, learn and uh, be a uh, productive. And uh, so I'm like my what I'm doing still. All right. Very good. Okay. Any last words? I I, <laughs> you know. I don't know, just uh, do what you like, learn, uh, learn the things uh, with a good attitude and uh, have fun with your work. Okay, very good. Thank you, mom.